Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. Now, if you've been paying attention to the news, you saw my video last week about what happened in East Palestine, Ohio, and the train wreck there where the toxic chemicals were released, vinyl chloride among, I believe, I believe I read 12 others, according to the EPA, were found in the air. And of course, the EPA was partly behind the idea of burning off these few, these gases, um, making them airborne, right? The whole belief was that by burning the vinyl chloride, you would create a less volatile or problematic solution than what it would have been just at all pouring out or exploding and being burst into the, you know, thrust into the air that way. The problem is, this is what you get, what, what, what they're seeing in health clinics in the area, not just in East Palestine, Ohio, but in other areas in the, in the surrounding areas. There are reports that as this plume of chemicals have moved south and moved into other places, and believe it or not, Lexington, Kentucky, apparently it started raining. And all of a sudden, birds started dying in parking lots. Now, I don't know if it's completely connected to this or not, but it sure seems likely that there is something just not quite right. The Biden administration ignored it for almost two weeks. They didn't send anybody to help. They didn't do anything to help. They literally left the people of East Palestine, Ohio, to fend for themselves and hope that the railroad company that caused the derailment due to the lack of due to the lack of regulations and lack of safety protocol for themselves did to this area. Now, I would like to I do want to report that as of Saturday, FEMA finally is on the ground in East Palestine, Ohio, from what I've what I've read and what I've been told. And apparently there are at least attempts to be making these making things better for these people. The problem is, what damage has this caused our environment? And is there any way that we're going to be able to re repair this area? Right now, people are um, talking about bad smells and odors. These rashes that you see on this person's hands right here, they're um, having problems breathing, some people. You know, burning throats, burning eyes, things like that. You would figure it would be gone by now, right? If what they did was the proper channel to burn burn stuff off, as I saw on a um, Kyle Hill um, live stream last week, then you would think that this would have burned off by now. These people wouldn't be having these problems. But we're starting to see more video footage of the streams and rivers and stuff in the area and how contaminated they are, where there was one video where a woman throws, a, throws like a rock or a big brick into the water and all of a sudden all this, this plume of oil looking stuff pops up out of, the, out of the ground. Now I've seen that happen before around boats, but I'd never seen it by just throwing a rock in the, in, in, into a creek. Something is not right in East Palestine, Ohio. Something needs to be done. We need more, a bigger federal response. The states can only do so much to help take care of the situation. This is a much bigger problem than people are making it out to be. The media is not even really focusing on it. You barely see CNN or Fox News, either one, covering it. Meanwhile, these people's lives are being turned upside down, and the, and the railroad is only offering them $1,000 to make, make things right. And $1,000 isn't going to make anything right for these people. Most of these people have already been told they could return home. They couldn't because either the kids were getting these rashes or... or they were having problems themselves. There was a man who um, had his wife and kids leave town so they could, so the kids would be safe. And he stayed there at their house so there wouldn't be, you know, so make, to make sure everything was okay at the house. But he couldn't stay either. He had to leave. These people are having to live in other towns and other, you know, in hotels and stuff that aren't, there aren't their homes. And the federal government has done nothing to help these people. I see people um, on, on Twitter who live in Ohio who have said that things just aren't right. That they've driven through the, you know, through the area and things just aren't right. 
I have a person that I used to I follow on Twitter. Um, used to be pretty big here when um, uh, with kid behind the camera and stuff like that. Um, YouTube channel PFE who lives in Ohio, and I see his tweets about how things are not going well, about how bad the, the environment, environmental situation is, and things like that. And this is a guy who politically I have generally have had no agreements with, right? I've always liked his content. I've always liked his music. And I thought he was great. I think he's great. But to see him talking about this, like his, his, his Twitter is so far from political until this happened, until the federal government wasn't doing their job. Because I believe the federal government's job is to protect Americans from situations like this and to take care of Americans if they do. So seeing his tweets as somebody, he's one of the few people I, I know of that live in Chicago, or live in Ohio, right? That, you know, as he has mentioned, he travels the state of Ohio frequently. And one of the few people I know from Ohio that's talking about it. And so I was glad to see somebody from Ohio actually speaking up and saying, hey, this isn't right. I'm not hearing enough complaints from the governors of uh, Ohio or Pennsylvania. I'm not hearing enough of a response from the federal government to help make these people whole and clean the place up and help these people get back into their homes. And it's absolutely disgusting to see the federal government sh sh shirking their responsibility here. Now, you may, as a, a viewer of my channel, find that odd that I would have problems with the federal government and Joe Biden. But, of course, here at the Big Ranch Show, we, we, we deal in facts. We deal in reality on the ground. And the reality is the federal government and Joe Biden have not done their job to help these people. I suggest calling your, your representatives. Even if you don't live in Ohio, call your representatives. Let them know. Email them whatever you have to do. So let your representatives know that you don't feel the federal government has had a proper response to East, East Palestine, Ohio, and how these people are being treated. Nobody should be having to have, you know, rashes and problems breathing and stuff like that because of something that a railroad company did and not be made whole for the, for the, um, the damages. And I'm sorry, but $1,000 is not going to cut it. This railroad company is going to have to do more. And let me see if I can get in the name of that. Yeah, Norfolk Southern um, Freight, they call themselves. And they've offered the people $1,000. They've been displaced for two weeks. That's probably more than $1,000 just there, not counting possible health, health ramifications that they may need help with going down, down the road in the future. Because vinyl chloride is known as a carcinogen, which could cause cancer down the road for people. And if they're not being getting the proper treatment, or these chemicals aren't being taken care of in the proper manner, this whole area could be in, in, in deep duty, as, as it were. I've seen videos even where people are boiling their water, and there's this thick film over the top of it that doesn't belong there. You shouldn't have that when you boil your water. Even under a boil water notice, your water is usually okay after you boil it. But I wouldn't trust this water because of the film that it has on it. Now, you know, here at the Big Ranch Show, we don't we don't deal in conspiracy theory. We deal in facts. We deal with what people are actually seeing and what's actually going on. And I don't care that the EPA says the air quality is just fine, that there aren't any problems. But clearly there are problems. Too many people are reporting problems in this area of 5,000 people. And in places to the south and southeast of East Palestine, Ohio. So obviously there's a problem. It needs to be dealt with. The federal government is not taking care of their responsibilities to the American people. And if this one thing leads to Joe Biden not getting a second term, then that's on him. But right now the federal government needs to get off their ass, get down there, and help these people. I understand that this place is just 5,000 people. And you're not too worried about 5,000 people. But you know what? These people matter. They're Americans. Get off your ass, get to East Palestine, Ohio, and get these people taken care of. 